Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a Guild Wars 2 video. This video I want to try making kind of as fast as I can because I know you guys won't want to sit through a video that's too long about, you know, a game like Guild Wars. So I just want to kind of make it really, really fast and just go through the exact things that I want to do in each video that I put out regarding Guild Wars 2. So this one's going to be kind of a general video. I'm just going to kind of explain what is Guild Wars 2, you know, just kind of go over the basics and everything. And then in the future, you know, maybe tomorrow or the day after or whatever, whatever, I'm going to release other videos that are a bit more specific in terms of what I'm going to be doing in the game. So, first, I just want to say that Guild Wars 2 is obviously the second game to Guild Wars, which used to be out. Uh, it's kind of a stand or a, a competition sort of game against World of Warcraft. A few of the WoW devs apparently left and they made uh, Guild Wars. Now they have Guild Wars 2. So, First of all, I just want to say this game looks really pretty. I mean, look at this game. Look how nice it looks. It looks amazing. This game is very, very, very nice. I mean, the graphics are awesome. It's just th these kind of graphics make them make it just 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 them alone make it fun. You know, just to walk around and just do your thing and just observe and just explore and just be in this world. So now I want to go over the skills and the combat in this game very quickly. So. One thing I like about this game is that it's not like WoW or one of those uh, standard MMOs where you kind of, you know, you just right click and then you pretty much let the RNG kind of hand it or handle it rather from there. This game, no, you have to actually be in range of the person you're attacking. So if I attack this mob and I press 1, I'm going to be attacking. See, I'm not attacking, right? I'm missing because he's out of range. See, he says miss. I have to be up to him, like close enough to, for the swings to actually hit and then they'll actually start doing damage. And you can actually dodge. So if I double tap left, right, up, down, I'll do this little dodge thing and I'll. And I'll dodge and attack. Now he's pretty strong, so I'm kind of getting owned here. But there you go, and it's really really cool. So one thing I like also is that like my skills are really reliant in terms of what you equip. So this game is a lot different in that kind of sense. So for example, if I have two daggers equipped, I have these skills. So these first three uh, depend on whatever is equipped in your f uh, main hand, and then the second two uh, depend on whatever is equipped in your off hand. So as you can see, these are the skills I have when I have two daggers equipped, right? And then if I switch it, so my offhand is a, a, a pistol one-handed and then a dagger in the offhand. So if I press this button here, see it switch, switches them. These two remain the same, right? Because I have a dagger in the offhand, but now these are all different because now I have a gun equipped. So I can go up to something and start shooting it. And uh, for example, I don't know, let's, just, let's find something really quickly. Oh, that bear looks strong. I'm, I'm just trying to attack this thing. I don't know, whatever. See, look at this. See, I'm attacking, blah, blah, blah. Press two, it fires that little thing and it does damage. I press my three, I do a swipe and then I teleport back. Watch, see? Bam. Uh, there goes, there goes. I don't know, I think he like did something to me there. See, I can just keep cutting around and uh, I pop this skill. This is my healing skill and I go invisible. He can't see me and then bam, I keep attacking. Him. See, and it's cool. You can just like uh, double tap backwards and you can just keep kiting and then you attack it, etc, etc. It's really, really neat and it's a lot of fun to do. And um, so that's how the skills work pretty much. Now, these ones over here are, this is your kind of uh, healing skills. So you have three of them to choose from. You can uh, kind of, you know, buy the... Use them, uh, rather, sorry. You can use, uh, what's it called, where is it? Skills and traits, slot skills. See, you get these uh, unspent skill points, and then you can pretty much buy skills like that. So as you can see, this one costs one skill point, and I have 13, this one costs three, one, one, one. I need five to go in this tree, this, these cost three each, and I need five of these to go into this tree, and they, they probably cost, I don't know, maybe five each or something, and then it keeps going down. Uh, these ones are the exact same, so these three are uh, those skills I just showed you, so these ones here. And then these, this last one here is pretty much something you unlock at level 30, where it's like your elite skills. So you can have one of these bad boys, and it's really, really cool. So once you get those, I will show you guys maybe, you know, later. Uh, if you haven't guessed, I am playing a thief. There's a thief, there's an elementalist, there's a necromancer, there's a ranger, there's an engineer, a warrior, and a guardian. Now, I hope I didn't miss any of them, but those are the ones that I remember just now. So that's how this game works. So again, you can uh, dodge skills like this. You just tap and you dodge it. And then I have my F1 skill. Each class has its own thing. So mine's F1. I can press and I can uh, shadow step someone. And then as I shadow step, I kind of this replaces with another skill. So it depends on, depending on who I shadow step on, because it kind of steals their item sort of. So um, sometimes it could be like a, something that'll stun them. Sometimes it could be just a little nuke, or it can be like a defensive thing where I kind of throw smoke down and I go invisible and I blind people in the area. Um, another thing is there's also a lot of different kind of mechanics or debuffs in this game. So one in here, as you can see, this skill applies vulnerability when I use it. So uh, it can stack, uh, it lasts for 6 seconds and it increases damage by 5% for 5 stacks. So 1% per stack and it, if I keep using the skill, it'll go to 5, 10, 15, 20. 
Uh, and as you can see, this skill right there at the bottom, you see, it's like right beside the body shot. You see, I can't really mouse over it because then I'll lose the description, but it has a little three icon with the kind of diamond thing. That is this, my initiative. I use That's what I use to kind of use my, most of my skills other than my you know standard first slot skill. <coughs> so this skill, for example, I throw the dagger and uh, see, oh, <laughs> he threw it out of us. Uh, and then it slows them and see it does cripple so it slows them for five seconds. It's really cool. This one uh, Vulnerability as well, but this time when I use it it costs six initiative points. That's a lot. It's almost half But uh, I attack them and I go invisible which then after I go invisible oops, This first slot will replace with something else see a sneak attack. It's really cool and same thing with the dagger replace with the backstab um, So that's pretty much uh, more or less the kind of combat in this game So these are signets, you know, I activate them to uh Passively gives me something I can activate him to do something as well same thing with this as you can see or I can activate or replace him with a poison For example, so I can proc this on my daggers and it'll do that poison effect on them There's all this kind of cool stuff So it's really really neat and you can combo skills too So if I'm kind of playing with an elementalist elementalist can put down this wall of fire it goes around and if I throw my dagger this one through that fire the dagger will go on fire and it'll hit the guy so it's kind of considered a combo damage It's really really cool um, next, I want to quickly uh, show you guys how the quests and stuff work in this game. So it's a little different too. Um, pretty much, you don't have to go up to each NPC and get them, and you know, hand in the quest and get the quest. Sometimes you have to go to the NPC to get the quest, but to hand it in, you could just hand it in. Uh, pretty much, as you finish it, you pretty much already handed it in, and you get the reward uh, through this mail system, which is really, really neat. See, as you can see, these are all the quests I finished. See, it's really cool. So when you press M, this shows you a nice, really cool map. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. I like it. It's just very nice and. One thing I like about this is that, um, so one thing I just want to say quickly, okay, okay. This is one thing that's really neat about this game. So while it's happening, I want to quickly mention it. As you see, you see this little orange thing, right? It's moving. This is called an event. It's like a global event. There's many, many different things like this. And this is what makes Guild Wars 2 really, really neat is that these global events happen randomly. And this is where like all the people in this map will see this and then they're going to go there and they're going to help that event. And then they're going to pretty much, you know, help us succeed. So as you can see here, defend the script scripts while they steal golden parts. So this is me four NPCs running, stealing parts. You have to kind of walk with them and help them and you know kill any enemy mobs and stuff and that kind of stuff. And you get a nice experience from that. So usually as you're questing, if you see one of those, you usually want to take part in those. Um, you know, it gives you really nice experience and sometimes you can even accomplish your other quests you were doing while you're doing that event. So th those are called events. Next is hearts, the tasks. Uh, these are pretty much your standard quests. You know, you walk around, you uh, a filled heart obviously is one that's completed, and then an empty one is one you can still do. So you walk up to it, and as you can see, Careful. it does these things here. Everywhere. What the can fuck? smell them. What the fuck? And then uh, that's a, that's pretty much your general quest. You walk up to it, it'll it'll kind of appear here, and you can start doing it. Uh, waypoints are things on the maps like this where you can I can click on them to teleport there, and you have to walk up to waypoints to discover them. Um, these point of interest are just things you kind of go and uh, you just have to go in, into the area where you see. So if it's like this, it's uh, something I already found. And if it's an empty one like this, it's something I, I still have to find. Uh, so that's, that's what that is. Uh, it's just, you know, you get some nice experience for uh, finding these things out. Skill challengers are these blue things. I don't have any in the map here, but if I go to the previous map, as you can see, uh, this one, for example, this is ones I already have. And then the ones that are filled, I already did. Ones that are kind of blank and only have a border around them. Uh, I want that stuff to do, but these are also pretty much quests just like the hard one more or less But uh, after you complete this one you get one skill point which like I mentioned you use for uh, you know to unlock these skills over here And then finally we have vistas. So now if you play Assassin's Creed, you'll find this very familiar Vistas is pretty much uh, You know these little triangles over here So you go on certain buildings and these buildings on top somewhere have this little map floating And then if you can find the way to climb the building and get to that point you press F and it kind of does like a little uh, I don't know, it shows you the surrounding area it's pretty much exactly like Assassin's Creed and you get like one of those points Now these are just really cool things you can do uh, so you can get 100% achievement on the map And as you can see this is my map specific and this is the world completion over here So it has 17 out of 301 in the whole world and stuff like that So uh, you know once you finish the whole map you get a nice little uh, reward and it's really really neat um, So those are the pretty much the types of Quests and events and all that. So I want to release other videos where I'm going to do each type of event. So I'll have, I'll do a task, I'll do a waypoint, I'll do a point of interest, I'll do a skill challenge, and I'll do an event and a vista, and I'll release those so you guys can check it out exactly what that is. Once I get uh, more, you know, higher level and more skills, and actually start doing like PvP and all that stuff, I'll do that. Um, I'll try recording as many events as I can. So if I find an event I haven't recorded yet, I'll record that, and you know, I'll show you guys what's up with that. It's really really cool. Sometimes there's like big raid ones. Also, if you go in the water, let me see if I can quickly find water. 
Um, your skills completely changed. Like you have a whole different uh, skill bar in the water. So if I press H, as you can see, this is my skill set for the water thing. So I have a weapon called uh, Maline Glyphic Spear Gun of Agony. That's pretty much what I use when I'm inside the water. So let's quickly jump in, and you'll find out. It's really cool when you jump in the water and get out. It has a nice little particle effect. So you jump in, as you can see, it's all blue down here now, and I have a completely different new skill. Which actually brings me to another point. So I just got this new weapon and depending on the weapon, you have to unlock the skills just by using the weapon. So if I just attack this thing, I just keep spamming one. Let's do that quickly. I'll keep spamming one, right? As you can see, you'll see that this skill... Okay, I cannot fight through them. I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm probably gonna die. So one thing when you die here is... I'm not gonna show it yet, hopefully. But when you die, your guy kind of goes into a down state. And if you can kill the enemy mob while you're down, you'll come back alive. Or... an allied person or any other player oh my god can come and uh, save you so her let me let me let me fight this guy i'll fight this guy i'll get him really low and then i'll purposely die okay he's glitching i don't know let's fight this guy instead let me get him really low and then i'm gonna make him kill me and you guys can see exactly what happens as you can see i'm popping sickness and all this good stuff and then i can uh pretty much stealth he can't see me i'll press f1 i teleport to him and i do bam 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 bam, bam. see and i use my third skill and i jump back it's really cool or use my fifth skill Bam, I attack him and now I'm stealth and I can go back and do this, right? Now let's uh, let him kill me, hopefully. Oh, he's just going back from my bleed. That works too. Alright, let's try that one more time. Let's try one more time. Let's try this guy. I'll go into dagger form. As you can see, I press my third skill. It does a little spin. Bam, it's really cool. And it applies bleed. I, I use my second skill. The less HP they have, the more damage it does. So I'm bam, you know, it's really, really cool. And then my fourth skill is when I throw that dagger. So I'm going to weaken him a bit more. Alright, so now let, let him kill me. Help! I don't have long. Let me attack him. Okay, see now I'm fight, fighting to survive. See, these are new skills that pop up. I can press my two, I, I kind of teleport away so you can't attack me. And I keep spamming one. Oh my god. It, oh my god, I aggroed that stupid thing. Okay, so, uh, if I can kill him, I pretty much go back alive. See, I killed him, now I'm alive. But now this thing will probably kill me, so I'm just gonna go stealth and get away from this because I don't want to die to that. I accidentally aggroed it because my first skill kind of bounces between mobs. But um, that's pretty much it. So, you know, you press Y, you have your friends playing here, etc, etc. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to release more videos of this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please post in the comments. Tell me, you know, you, if you want to see anything specific or whatever. And uh, again, if you haven't guessed, I am playing a thief. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace!